Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Resident Evil 3 and I'm gonna run away from some spiders and then we'll talk. Jeez. Yeah, I didn't want to have to deal with those guys. So anywho, in the last episode we decided to uh, scour the clock tower, look for anything that would be useful to us, and we uh, just so happened to find all sorts of goodies. Carlos decided it would be a cool idea to leave us alone again by ourselves, and that proved to be a really bad idea because the nemesis started running around again. Let's read this real quick. The Mercenary's Pocketbook. September 26th. There's a lot of things that happen on September 26th in this game. It's only been three hours since the mission started, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of zombies is far greater than we expected. There's no hope left for this city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that it will work. I don't know if I will survive. September 27th. We managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the surviving citizens as decoys. We were taught to do this in order, in a, order to survive in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, All I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before. But now... The clock tower has become a dangerous place, and I don't want to make any more mistakes. And just like that, it seems like he died trying to shield someone's daughter. A very noble thing he did, indeed. Now, this puzzle. God damn it, I hate this puzzle. Real quick, though. Might as well grab these while we're ahead. Some more mind thrower rounds. <laughs> yeah, we got the mind thrower last time, by the way. We're going to have some fun with that pretty soon. A maiden statue holding a tray, and amber balls on the tray. Will you take that? Oh yeah. Kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a soft gel of fish oil. An obsidian ball. We'll take that too. It looks like CoQ10. Yes, I'm going on a on a on a vitamin rant right now. I understand. And that just looks like nothing. <laughs> now, this puzzle fucking sucks. This is my least favorite puzzle in the entire game. Um, let's see here. Present goddess. 11 o'clock is what it reads. There's a tray under the picture. What we need to do is we need to get this thing to uh, show up as, well, uh, 12 o'clock. So what we're going to do is this the past one. Past goddess. Okay, so this is the one that the amber ball needs to go into. I'm going to do that. Will you put the amber ball in the tray? You're damn right I will. So that's going to move back this way. And then for the future one, what we're going to do for that one is we're going to put the crystal ball into that one. Because the crystal ball look into the future, you know, makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, and then obviously that would leave one more left for this. You put the obsidian ball in the tray. Dun, dun, dun. Well, look at that. We have solved the puzzle. I like to buy a vowel, an A. Alright, and that's going to give us the gold gear. Now in the last episode we got the silver gear, so now we need to go all the way back up to the top of this clock tower and, uh, well, we need to do something special with these gears. Shlunk ding! Ba boom Alright. Oh, shit! Oh, why would you aim the other way, Jill? Fucking idiot. There we go. I hate that noise when you step on these things. Oh, wait a minute. That guy's got something, I think. Yeah, he's got grenade rounds. Thanks, dude. All right, well, see you later. <laughs> Enough of that. All right, here we go. Now we gotta go all the way back up to the clock tower just to put something in there. And good old Mr. Nemesis is gonna be up here again. Might as well use one of those while we're at it. And do that, and away we go. She's so spry looking when she runs. She's just like, not a care in the world. Just gotta head right up to the top of this clock tower and go put something in here, even though a very large man in stature who's totally dead has been running around following me. I don't even know where the hell he is anymore, but he's here somewhere. He's probably gonna be right here, let's be honest. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I got a little bit, a little bit out of control there. Ding, ding. Alright, so, now I'm going to go right over here, I'm going to 
with this guy, grab that silver gear, and then we can then we can start talking business. Okay. Make the Kronos gear. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I don't even know how we even put those things together. I mean, did we, you know, use glue or something? I don't even know. I didn't know that you could just like shove those things together like they're clay. But hey, that's video game logic right there. It's just something that they know what it is, and I don't. And now by doing that, we've actually just signaled for the helicopter to come down and save our ass. So, hey, that's that's a good that's a good sign now, isn't it? Okay, I feel like I'm missing something here. Um, da, da, da. I've got an idea here. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to... First of all, we're going to combine these. Might as well do it. I hate... I'm really, really iffy on that kind of thing. I don't know why I do it, but... I always like having, like, you know, not having all my grenade rounds and shit, you know, scattered all over the place. Also with this. So, I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking, God, hurry up and just get on with it already. Well, you know, I'm getting there. You can't, you can't rush a good thing. Now, for this, we're definitely going to need this. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that would be useful in this situation. I think we're going to be good, though. I think we'll be all right. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's head on down here. Will you go down the ladder? Of course I will. to grab a couple of these. This will be very important. Or, well, I guess one of them will have to be enough. Here we go. Right on in. If only you knew what we're getting ourselves into right now. So, the game's over, right? I mean, you know, we got ourselves an FMV sequence. Man, she's got a huge rack, my good lord. It's finally over. No, it's not over, Jill. She's like, oh no, you gotta be kidding. Dear God. No. I wonder who could have shot that. Oh, well, there we go. Dun dun dun. <laughs> well, this is one of the most this is one of the, uh, I think this is one of the bigger fights in this game, in case you're wondering what just happened. Jill's now infected with the T-Virus! Holy shit! Dun dun dun, time to save right here, and this is gonna get really fucking bad. I need to go around this corner right now, because there are no herbs here. That's just great. I'm so happy that that happened. Okay, we need to change to this right now, and this right now. Whoa! Okay, wow. I don't know how we made that happen. I didn't mean to have that happen either. This fight is quite annoying. Aha! Stars. Just gotta do pretty much the same thing that we do every time. Shit. It's not going to be a clean run of that by any stretch of the imagination, but hey, it's still working. Oh, what the hell? I threw him out of his motion. And he killed me. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, well, maybe we can make this a little bit cleaner this time. Great. Yeah, that's, that's really going to do it. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, there were no green herbs down here, because I'm a fucking idiot and didn't come down here earlier. Aha! Oh! Yep, smart idea, Jill. Way to just stay in there. Run, Jill! You're on the corner there. Okay, now he's pissed. Oh god. I hate when he starts running like that. Why is it sparkling like that? Oh boy. Okay, I need to probably use one of these right now. That'd be in my better interest. 
I'm gonna get you. There we go. Very, very well done, Jill. Uh, may not be the way that I really wanted to do. God! I'm pretty sure he just, like, was gliding on the ground there. Shit. I was trying to get around him, but that definitely was not going to work. And while you were sitting there growling at, at nothing, you dumbass, guess what's gonna happen now? Get one of these right in your chest. Another one. And, well, maybe a couple more. actually going a lot better than I thought it was going to. Ow. Shit. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Throw me into the fire, why don't you? That's, that's just great. Ha ha ha! We've got him! And now he's going to stumble all the way into the fire. Momentary victory, my friends. Just a momentary victory as he goes and burns to death. I don't know why he'd go do that. I mean, he didn't have to go walk into the fire like an idiot. Oh, I feel so oh. weird. Oh, God. She's not dead, though, is she? Because that would be bad. Whoa. Jill. Nice judo roll there, buddy. Jill. Hang in there. What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Yeah, this is all your Please. fault, Carlos. Where Wait, are you to, to help? All the, all the time. Jill. It's always got to... Jill! October 1st, night. Oh, we can actually hear her talking to I woke to up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. It's all about you, isn't it, Jill? All the way uh, back in here again. Uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't right. worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Uh, you could say that. Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. Even though if I'm I can't all feel hunched over anything, weird. Then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Well, okay. If you say so. And now we get to be Carlos. He actually gets to have some purpose for once in his meaningless life. Which means now we get to use his assault rifle, which is awesome, by the way. Let's see if there's anything in here. I don't remember if he had anything or not. Yeah, all of our cool items that we had, yeah, they're gone now. So, uh, yeah, apparently, you know, when you switch over to Carlos, that entire chest just goes to another dimension and everything that we had is gone. But yes, so now we have control of Carlos and we need to save Jill. But how exactly are we going to do that? Well, in order to find out, you're going to have to stick around for the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 3. This is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.